Recently, Fortnite has been seeing some issues with certain skins being used in competitive game modes like Arena as of the moment, but in the future, some of the upcoming tournaments that may be happening, these skins are actually being used and they are giving players a pay-to-win advantage. Today, I'm going to be looking at what these advantages are, how Fortnite can fix them, and the best possible way we can do this moving forward. So let's jump right into the video. Alright, so as you can see here, I'm actually playing this during a live game, so little bit of a different video format, but I was watching Cypher PK's videos and I was like, hey, those look pretty cool. So I decided to try it out for myself just for today. But basically, the issue at hand is with a certain superhero skin. Now, as you guys all know, there is the really customizable superhero skin that gives you like thousands of different possible options. The reason we're here is obviously about these pay to win skins and how we can actually fix this issue. Now, before I actually get into how we want to fix this, I do want to address a certain thing. This is the myth that a lot of people think about hitboxes. When you're playing Fortnite, a ton of people think that the female skins have smaller hitboxes, so therefore you should play them because there's less likely of a chance that you'll actually be hit by incoming bullets. Now, this is actually a complete myth that a lot of people have made up. The female skins actually have the exact same hitbox as every single other skin in the game. The difference about them is that they actually have a smaller size that they take up on your screen. So obviously skins like Brutus that are giant will actually take up more of your screen, so that way you get to see less of what's actually going on around you, but when you use the female skins, they're much smaller, so then you are able to actually see what is going on around you, since it's obviously a third-person shooter. So now that we have the hitbox myth cleared out of the way, we can look at the actual issue that these skins are putting into competitive, and that is camouflage. There there is a certain variant of the superhero skin where you make everything about it black and this will allow you to basically just blend into the night or you can even do this with the color green and blend into grass or brown for trees. There's a lot of different options you can do for this to actually hide yourself when you're playing competitive. Why is there a bot in this lobby? What? No, oh, no one, no one talk about my aim. No one talk about the aim. Now, obviously, camouflage skins are really bad for the game state because then people are just going to be able to hide and it'll actually be a pay-to-win game, even though Fortnite is not supposed to be pay-to-win at all. So, there are a few different ways Fortnite can fix this, but there are a few key ones that I'm actually thinking of that are the best ways to do this. Firstly, Fortnite could just, you know, revert these changes to the skin, make it look a little bit different, have some mandatory colors you need to put on the skin to make it stand out from the environment around it, but this is a lot more of a short-term solution, if you guys know what I'm saying, because this will fix the issue for that singular skin. But in the future, Fortnite is undoubtedly going to release some skin that people will find a way to abuse to actually hide with the map or blend into some areas around them. So this is a very short-term way of thinking about it, but it would work for the moment being. Now, my solution to this problem is not this, obviously, because this will only work for a little bit until Fortnite undoubtedly releases another broken skin. The way that I think Fortnite should fix this is actually by making a mandatory skin that you have to wear when playing competitive game modes. And I know that sounds really annoying and really bad, but I'll break it down after, you know, I actually win this fight. Okay, or I'm gonna fall to my death, you know, one of those two things. All right, it looks like he ran away. I think we're actually good to keep talking. So basically the way I'm thinking that we do this. Time out for a second. This is editing Gummy Yoshi. I just wanted to say I rambled a little bit for this section. So basically what I'm trying to say is that competitive players, a lot of them don't actually care about what skin they're using. I know a lot of you guys probably care about your skins, but a lot of like the pro community and the really into competitive people, they don't care their exact skin that they're wearing. Hold on, give me a second. Oh my goodness he got one shot but uh back to what i was saying basically not that many competitive players actually care about the skin they're using yes benji fishy does have like his signature skin and a lot of people have a bunch of different skins that they like to use but people aren't really that attached to their skins i mean i bet some people are but me personally and what i have observed from the fortnite community i don't think people actually care that much about a singular skin so the thing that i'm proposing here is actually basically like a competitive uniform that people need to wear when they are actually playing competitive games. Now, I know that that sounds really lame, and a ton of people are going to be turned off by that idea, and they're going to be like, no, that's lame. Everyone has to wear the same skin. That just sucks. But hear me out here. It would be a really good thing for the game. 
if Fortnite implemented a system that basically made you need to wear a- Hold on, what? Why are there so many bots in my lobbies, including myself? Did you guys see my aim? But basically, this would be really good because think about it. There would be none of these competitive advantages that people would get over other people just because they can blend into a certain area or they look a little bit different and they get more POV on their screen. And even though hitboxes are the same on every single skin, like I told you guys earlier, some people do get more vision to see around their character because they're using a smaller skin. A mandatory skin that everyone has to wear in competitive games would fix this issue because nobody has extra viewing angles than other players. Everybody has the exact same camouflage abilities because if everyone has like a bright pink skin or something that Fortnite assigns to everyone, then nobody can camouflage into a wall and just hide because let's let's be legit here, you cannot hide with a bright pink skin. And along with that, there may actually be other benefits that people aren't thinking about as well. If we actually take a look at League of Legends, I know a lot of you guys don't play League and a lot of you guys don't care about it, but hear me out here, this isn't actually about the game of League itself. We're going to be looking at skin skins in league. Now in league competitive, in league esports, you're obviously able to choose whatever skin that you want to use. And I know that a lot of you guys are going to be confused by the analogy that I'm making here, but just hear me out. League of Legends produced about, I think, four or two, I think two ultimate skins. The ultimate skins are the maximum rarity of skins. It's like legendary skins in Fortnite. It just occurred to me that I'm actually running away from the zone. We should be running towards the zone. But basically what these skins did is that they would evolve across the course of the game. So one of them, for example, is Gun Goddess Misfortune. And basically what this skin did is that throughout the course of the game, it would get cooler, it would change its look, and it would just look a lot cooler overall. And in Fortnite, we have a a lot of these different types of skins. We have reactive skins, we have ones that progress as you go throughout the game, and a bunch of different stuff. Now, the reason that I'm bringing this up is because League of Legends actually stopped producing these skins entirely. They said, no, we can't actually make any more of these evolving skins just because it is lagging the game too much. And this brings up a point that a lot of competitive players like to complain about. In late game zones in Fortnite, it is extremely laggy a lot of the time. And when people have these evolving skins, when the entire lobby or even just 50% of it has these evolving skins, undoubtedly these are lagging these servers. Now, that being said, I'm not a technician person by any means, but I do play around with code a little bit. And I would imagine that having this extra bit of information that you actually need to do, all these different calculations that you need to be having going on while you're playing the game is definitely not speeding up the latency in these late game zones by any means. All right, we got two kids up here. You, you guys think I can make it alive out of this fight? If not, then it's gonna suck for the video. Oh, geez. Oh, geez, bro. Chill. All right, guys, I, I think I'm gonna make it out alive. You know, maybe just a little bit. Okay, that was a little bit awkward for both of us, but I ended up killing him. So basically, as I was saying, in Fortnite, I believe that all of these evolving skins and reactive skins and all the different skins that we have in the game are actually laving the servers, even if it's just a little bit. I believe that in these late game zones, these skins are definitely not helping the game in its lagging. Is that a word? Anyways, I'm just gonna kill these two kids real quick. All right, not if I whiff my shots, but we should be fine. All right, let's let's go get the next kid now. Oh, there's someone else fighting him. Yo, you told you stole my kill. I can speak English, guys. Trust me. Oh, he is not having a good day. Oh my goodness, I don't even know how those shots landed, but they did somehow. As I was saying, these skins actually lag the game. I've said this, I think I've recapped this like 25 times now. So I'm just gonna let this game play out a little bit, and then we'll jump towards the end of the game so that I'm not just stalling with my words for like 25 minutes. All right, so as I'm all boxed up here waiting for the next zone to show up, I'll just summarize what I've been saying in this video. Basically, the skins in Fortnite are actually, may actually be lagging these servers a little bit, and some of these skins are actually pay to win in the game. So the best way to fix this would probably be to actually have a uniform that people will need to wear for competitive game modes that will be put onto them automatically when they load into the match. Oh, why is this bloom so good? Oh, why are my frames dropping so hard? I'm so sorry to anyone watching this right now. My frames are not having a good day. No, I'm trying to change my graphic settings so that it's not frame dropping. 
Yo, chill out. All right, hold on, boys. Hold on. I need to change all of these things. Okay? Okay, are we good? Yo, why is it even more frame dropping? Computer, what are you doing to me? At the end of this game, I did dramatically die, but my frames were just everywhere. So honestly, the ending was probably better that way so that you guys didn't have to suffer through all of those frame drops. But basically, in a nutshell of the video, what I'm saying is that a competitive uniform for Fortnite would actually be super good and it would improve the quality of competitive overall. Now, this may not be the best and the nicest way to do this. Fortnite could just totally change all of the skins and make sure that none of these skins in the future actually violate these like non camouflage rules where everything doesn't just blend into the background but I feel like an easier way to do this and something that wouldn't give specific trios an advantage for all using the same exact skin would be to have a uniform skin now I know a lot of people will be opposed to this idea just because it's super boring and super lame but this is the way that I think we could fix it so if you found the video helpful please consider leaving a like on it and subscribing to the channel as that would help me out a ton thank you so much for watching the video I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one.